first of all, it's important to remember that washing your hands is actually the best way to protect yourself against infection, according to the CDC. Now, to do that properly, you need to work up a really good lather, and then you have to rub your hands together for 20 seconds. And the CDC says that that's about as long as it takes to sing happy birthday twice. There are other songs that have choruses that are about 20 seconds long. I actually like to sing Def Leppard's Pour Some Sugar On Me, but that's just me. But it, happy birthday twice will also do the trick. So washing hands is definitely the way to go if you have access to soap and water. But if you don't have access to soap and water, then hand sanitizers are a good, effective alternative. They're portable, you can carry one around with you all the time, and that way you can use it after you've just been in a public place, when you come home, after you sneeze or cough. That's just a good way to make sure that you're keeping the virus off your hands. This is an example of a commercially available hand sanitizer. And according to the CDC, for a hand sanitizer to be effective against viruses, it needs to be at least 60% alcohol. And this one is 70%, so this is a good bet for keeping yourself safe. What do you do if you can't find any commercially available hand sanitizer? What if your local store is out? What if all of your local stores are out? Well, you can make your own hand sanitizer, but you have to make sure that it has the minimum amount of alcohol content as dictated by the CDC, which is at least 60%. And experts say that as long as you have that, then it should be effective at keeping viruses off your hands. To make your own hand sanitizer, you're gonna need alcohol. And so we're working with isopropyl alcohol here, which is 91%. So this is 91% alcohol in water. And then you also want an emollient because alcohol can be really, really drying. And in fact, if you use hand sanitizer a lot, you'll notice that it starts to dry out your hands. So you want to include something in there that's gonna to help to replenish moisture in your hands. And so you can use something like glycerin or you can use aloe vera gel. Now, if you're using aloe vera gel, just check it and see what the other ingredients are because a lot of the commercially available gels, they blend the aloe vera with other things. And so you wanna get it as pure as possible if you can. You can also add a couple of drops of essential oil if you want it to smell nice, but that's not essential. <laughs> you have all your ingredients here. How do you mix them all together so that you end up with a solution that's 60% alcohol? Uh, well, you need a little bit of math to do that, but fortunately I've already done the math for you. So if you're using alcohol that's 91%, like this one, you need to have a solution that's two thirds of this and one third of your emollient. And that's gonna give you a mixture that's about 60.6% .6 alcohol. And the way you get that is you, this is 91% alcohol, you multiply 91% times two thirds, and that gives you 60.6. Pretty cool, right? If you want something that's slightly higher in alcohol content, then what you can do is you can do three fourths, 91% alcohol, and that'll give you a mixture that's 68% alcohol once you mix it together with the other stuff. We're gonna make the 60.6% .6 alcohol hand sanitizer solution. So to do that, we're gonna do two thirds of a cup of alcohol and one third of a cup of glycerin. Still with me? Okay, there we go. So two thirds, this and then one third of a cup of this. Just gonna take a little bit longer. Nice and goopy. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up. And then we're gonna pour it into one of our bottles. One thing you should keep in mind, this is probably not gonna feel exactly like the commercially produced hand sanitizers that you're used to because those are mass produced. So their consistency is something that, you know, has obviously been tested in labs and is gonna be consistent from bottle to bottle. So this is something where, as long as the alcohol content is 60%, this is something that you can use in a pinch that will certainly give you some protection. But 
the best way to protect yourself is absolutely to wash your hands. This is the CDC is very upfront about that. So remember soap and water, 20 seconds, sing happy birthday twice or the song of your choice.